Python plays a vital role in my daily work as a data engineer. In this guide, I'll share tips, best practices, and insights into how I use Python effectively as a senior data engineer. Python is among the top five essential skills. Its simple syntax makes it super friendly, even to beginners. Python's extensive ecosystem of frameworks and libraries, such as Pandas, NumPy, and Airflow, supports diverse data engineering tasks. All Python concepts for data engineer is listed in the end of the video, plus in the article below. But here, I'll walk you through some of the key concepts I use daily as a data engineer, along with practical examples. Data extraction and manipulation. One of my primary tasks as a data engineer involves data extraction. With Python, I can write code to extract data from various APIs or datasets. Once the data is retrieved, I can drop unnecessary columns, apply business logic, whatever. Building a small project. To better understand the data engineering process, let's walk through a small project. In this example, I'll demonstrate how to extract data from an API, perform basic transformations, deploy data pipeline, and load the data into a target application. Extracting data from different sources. Data often comes from multiple sources, including web applications, mobile apps, Apps, APIs, and relational databases. For this project, we have two options using a static dataset or fetching real time data. Static datasets are available on platforms like Kaggle, BigQuery, and Amazon Open Data. But for real time data, APIs are a better choice. Using APIs for data extraction. Using Python, we can easily connect to APIs and extract data. APIs such as Spotify API, Twitter, and Stock Market are available. After selecting it, you will need to request API keys to access. Let's choose Fin hub api because we want to track daily price change of nvidia stocks and build the data set for analysis the data retrieved from finhub comes in json format which consists of key value pairs you can extract specific values using your key i understand that learning on your own can be challenging so if you prefer a structured approach i highly recommend the data engineer course on data app link below with 47,000 people enrolled this hands-on course has short focused videos and interactive exercises it will guide you from beginner to intermediate level and you will even build a retail data pipeline as part of your project data transformation and data types to make this data more readable and useful we transform it a basic transformation job involves converting the json data into a structured tabular format similar to an excel sheet or a relational database table the pandas library in python is particularly useful for this task as it allows us to create data frames that organize data in a two-dimensional table and that we will convert into to CSV file. Detail process. What we are doing now is called ETL, Extract, Transform, Load. We extract data from sources, transform it into a structured and readable format, and load it into a target location, such as data warehouse or object storage. Common object storage solutions include Amazon S3, Google Cloud Storage, and Azure Blob Storage. Popular data warehouses include Snowflake, Google BigQuery, and Amazon Redshift. In this project, we'll store the transformed data in Amazon S3. Later, it can be loaded into a data warehouse for analysis or use directly to build dashboards. Automating the process. To streamline the process, we can automate it to run at specific intervals daily. There are two main approaches. First, writing a Python script and deploying it on a virtual machine or your local machine using a cron job. Or second, using a workflow orchestration tool like Apache Airflow, Mage, or Prefect. Let's keep it simple and run on your local machine. But for Airflow setup, please check the video here because it will take some time to set it up. Final thoughts. After storing transformed data, we can create some dashboards or use it downstream. Common dashboard tools are Tableau, Power BI, Looker, Metabase, etc. Data scientists and machine learning engineers can use this data to build models or dashboards. Python is incredibly versatile for data engineering and its applications vary across companies. So keep learning and stay curious.